You talked about Alabama. Their opponent is the Georgia Bulldogs, who have not lost. Uh, they haven't lost, but they, they've they had some close ones. And this one, unexpectedly, was very close. Georgia Tech went up to a 10-7 lead. Uh, you know, we know uh, Georgia came in there, and at halftime, I think it was 21-10. to 10. But uh, Georgia Tech never died, went down on this one, losing the game 31 to 23. If you look at the stats for this game, Alex, I mean, they're about even. I mean, Georgia mm-hmm. had 175 in the air to 158 for Tech. You know, they Georgia had 260 on the ground to 205 for you know Georgia Tech. Time of possession was fairly similar. In fact, Georgia had two turnovers to Tech zero. But at the end of the day, that running game for Georgia was the difference. Milton, two TDs over 150 yards, man. So this is huge for Georgia, but should we be nervous? Did they they overlook this? What what are you thinking about this? They sat their three best receivers, and that's including Brock Bowers. To me, they they made themselves one-dimensional immediately. Yeah. offensively in this one now it was nice to see Carson Beck still be able to spread the ball around uh to everyone else that was there but when you're without Brock Bowers you're without uh oh, why did I just uh McConkey and the, like man. when you're without all those guys and the game plan is hand the ball off hand the ball off hand the ball off that score is going to be closer I think oh, the yeah. game was further apart than the score showed um and especially given the fact that Georgia essentially treated this like a preseason game and sat a lot of their stars. Um, yeah. So I'm. this doesn't worry me one bit. I think they're still going to come in and be the dominant Georgia Bulldogs that we've seen. Yeah. And it's just the one interesting thing with this game this weekend is when it's in an SEC championship game, Kirby Smart has not beaten Nick Saban. Georgia's never in in the history. Georgia's never beaten Bama in the SEC title game. Wow! So oh, there's wow. some history there. Don't know if yeah. that streak will continue. I don't think it will. Hmm. Uh, I like Georgia to get the win, but it's. Uh, I also like them two years ago to get the win, and Bama stole it from them. So right. uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Yeah. Oof. Oh man, that that yeah, that's gonna be very interesting for for uh for Bama to see if they can pull this out. I mean, Georgia, you see, like you said, they're one dimensional and they still ran all over, you know, Georgia yeah. Tech. Um now I will shout out Haynes King. I think he was the quarterback that was uh transferred from he go was he was at Texas AM a couple years back, right? Yeah, I think last year and then came in yeah. this year. Yeah, we'll shout him out, you know. I mean, again. Just you know, kind of pedestrian, but still, you know, he he's been looking really good as of late. We saw they yeah. beat us forty six forty two, and 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 you know, last couple of games, Georgia Tech has been a solid force. That's why I was e- eager to see this game. Uh, but you know, again, Georgia is who Georgia is. But Haynes King definitely has solidified himself, in my op- opinion, as the starter right now. And Georgia oh, Tech yeah. has them looking a lot better. Um, Especially down the stretch, and I thought they would, that I expected them to be. So, and he's only a sophomore, so you got him for a couple more years. Yeah. So I, I'm I'm eager to see what what they can do at Georgia Tech. Obviously, it's been a long, long time since they've been a formidable force in any regard. Um, we we yeah. got to go back to what the, uh, the the Megatron days. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, Mid two thousands. Right. Right. So. We'll see. I'm glad to see them uh, at least keep it close. But like you said, the score uh, is not indicative of how far the game actually was for most of 